Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. Today I am six weeks postpartum and I have my six week appointment. And it is going to be through like a video call. And first I have to fill out this depression screening. Um, I basically just have to answer like all of these questions right here and send it back in. And then we will get on the phone with my doctor and discuss everything that's happened over the past six weeks. And if I have any concerns and things like that. I'm really excited because I might be able to start working out again. So let me fill out this depression screening and then I'll talk to my doctor and then I'll update you guys about my whole six week postpartum. I have been able to laugh and see the funny side of things. I actually need to write this stuff down because I'm not going to remember what I'm saying. Okay. I have been able to laugh and see the funny side of things. As much as always, I have looked forward with enjoyment to things. As much as I ever did, I have blamed myself on unnecessarily things when things get wrong. Sometimes, I mean, only because my hormones have been out of, like, they've been crazy. I have been anxious or worried for no good reason. Sometimes, I have felt scared or panicky for no good reasons. Actually, yes, I have anxiety, so things have been getting on top of me. Been able to cope at all. Coping as well as usual, quite well. Um, I'm good. I have been so unhappy that I've had difficulty sleeping. No, I sleep perfectly fine. I have felt sad or miserable. No. I have been so unhappy that I've been crying. No. Th the thought of harming myself has occurred to me. No. Let's see. One is zero. Mommy. Two is... Mommy. Zero. What? Hold on, Logan. Let me let me do this, and then I'll play with you. Okay. Three is two. Four is one. Logan, go go in the living room, please. I can't concentrate with you in here. Five is two. Six is zero. Seven is zero. Eight is zero, nine is zero, and ten is zero. Okay, so I got off the phone with my doctor and I went ahead and made the kids some lunch. I also ate and so everybody's in a good mood. Both of the babies are napping and Logan's watching a movie right now. So I can talk to you guys about my six week postpartum. So basically when you guys were watching me like on the phone, he hadn't even answered. He My appointment was for one o'clock and he didn't get on the phone till 1.30. And my camera ended up dying so I had to put my battery to charge. So we'll start with the phone call. Everything was good. The phone call literally lasted two minutes and we just talked about like how are you doing and that he's proud of me and congratulations and then we got off the phone so that was very short but we'll start now with the postpartum so in the first 24 hours I was fine besides the fact that like I would have the contractions of my uterus shrinking down to its normal size breastfeeding was getting my nipples very very sore because obviously I had stopped breastfeeding about a year before that now Brielle is starting to cry let me grab her real quick so Brielle is just hungry, but while I was in the hospital, everything was fine. I just had the cramps of my uterus contracting back to its normal size, and my nipples were really sore because obviously um, I hadn't breastfed Logan for about a year and a half by the time I had her, so they were not used to it anymore. And from there, after we left the hospital, that's when like it got real for me because I had to start moving around more, and I had to you know work with the kids and help my husband out a little bit and I would actually be able to like get out of my room and go to the living room which caused more bleeding because when you walk around it's just not it's not good so I had bleeding for two weeks and it was pretty strong and then for like another half of a week it was really light but I would still say that I was bleeding so for two and a half weeks I was bleeding and right after that it stopped I haven't had any more after that my nipples were sore for about two weeks as well and the uterus contractions only lasted about one week so all of the pain went away after two and a half weeks for me 
and breastfeeding I got mastitis in the first week of coming home so that was really painful as well I had a fever I had chills I had everything that you can think of when it comes to mastitis um, it all just hits you out of nowhere so I was perfectly fine my boobs were really sore anyways because I was breastfeeding and I thought I didn't really think much of it because I was new postpartum you know so I thought I was just in that the new postpartum symptoms then I got chills fever and body aches like out of nowhere I called my doctor got some antibiotics and that helped me so after two and a half weeks all the pain was gone I still took it easy I wasn't doing crazy amounts of like lifting heavy things or going on long walks or anything like that but my husband did end up going back to work and it wasn't hard on me physically like my body it was just hard mentally going from two to three kids is really hard going on one to two is not very hard I, I got Victor when I was 20 weeks pregnant with her them being really close in age is very hard for me I have to feed Victor and Briella will be crying at the same time or I'll be feeding Briella and Victor will be crying at the same time because they're hungry around the same times he she eats every two to three hours and he eats every three hours on the dot so I try to plan around it I try to plan according to who's hungry first or who woke up first and things like that but sometimes they're hungry at the same time and it's just really hard to deal with but Logan he's been really good for me he's just been acting out a lot lately and I think it's just because I'm tending to Briella's needs all the time he doesn't have a problem with Briella herself besides he says that she smells but other than that he doesn't want to hold her he doesn't want to kiss her he doesn't really do anything sometimes he'll come up to her and just tell her that she's beautiful because I've taught him to like say beautiful so he calls his dad beautiful he calls Briella beautiful he calls me beautiful nobody is handsome everybody is beautiful to Logan <laughs> so he's been perfectly fine when it comes to the baby but for me, he just doesn't listen, he likes to act out, he likes to do things that I can't really get him in trouble for at that moment because I'm feeding Briella or I'm trying to put her to sleep or something like that. He's he's working his way through the, the terrible twos. He'll be three in April, so hopefully he starts listening after that. I'm back to all of my normal physical activities besides working out, such as like we've been going on walks with the kids and I've taken care of them all by myself for the past four weeks and everything's going well I'm really happy that this postpartum was really easy on me because I have three kids to take care of last time around with Logan I got postpartum depression I had postpartum anxiety I had I was just like in a lot of pain because it was my first time going through that but this time around I kind of knew what to expect I knew what to buy I knew how easy I should be letting my body rest and just you know so everything is good and I'm really happy. Briella's healthy as well. She's been a lot more clingy to me the past few days. Like she used to let me put her down and do my do my things such as cleaning and stuff. But now, no, no, no. She likes to be held all day. So now I'm gonna play some footage for you guys from Saturday. We were furniture shopping. I was supposed to make an entire vlog of that day. But a lot of stressful things happen and I'm going to play that footage for you guys real quick because I only got about three minutes of footage. And then after that I'm going to talk to you guys about why I stopped recording. So go ahead and watch that really fast. Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. For today's video we are at Living Spaces. We are going to be furniture shopping. We are still trying to find a dresser for these boys and Sam and I are going to be looking at some bedroom sets because we want a new like we don't even have a yeah, headboard we, we or a, anything we need a bedroom set we need a bedroom set in general like we need a new dresser a bed a mattress side tables anything you can Everything. think of for the room you we need it and so that's why we're here and we have never been here so we basically just want to see what they have and look at prices because we've been to so many furniture stores the past few weeks looking for all these things and we have not found anything that we're in love with so. yeah and my foreman said to check out living spaces because he's been here and he said it's kind of cool so. yes so that is why we're here and that is what today's video is going to be about so first we're going inside of kids and teens do you like this stuff I like this one a lot too. So we think we found the one that we like the best. So here's the dresser. 
and then here is the frame and then we are going to be getting the California King so right now we're going to go look at some mattresses and then we'll come back to this if we find one that we like so it was really stressful because Logan in the store he was not listening we were there for a really long time because we found a bedroom set that we liked so we went through the process of like buying it and applying for their store credit and things like that which it takes a long time and Logan was just really tired he skipped his nap and Briella was perfect actually she didn't wake up one time that entire time Victor was very fussy because he was hungry he was tired and it was pretty loud in the store so he couldn't fall asleep as easy but Logan was the main troublemaker he was touching everything that you can think of in the store so first of all we were in the little kids area first and he was trying to climb up every bedroom set that had stairs on it and then we went over to the our bedroom sets so the adult the you know <laughs> the adult bedroom sets and he was climbing on the beds he was trying to touch everything that they had on little side tables like that was glass and he was putting it on the floor and playing with it as if it was a toy and we would tell him no and he wouldn't listen and it was just a whole a mess and when we went into the mattress area he was touching all of the remotes and there was a guy that kept taking the remotes away from him so we were kind of embarrassed and we would tell him like we would tell him Logan put the remote back and then he just wouldn't listen when we were done picking everything out that we wanted and it was time to pay we sat down on a bed and we were talking with the guy that was helping us. We we're filling stuff out, pulling out all of our like cards and things like that. And Logan was, he dropped a table. Like he was pushing a table trying to bring it over to us and it fell over. And then there was like a glass, um, it looked like a fake plant. I don't even, I can't even think straight right now. But yeah, he dropped that and it shattered. And then the guy was like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And I was like, I'm going to worry about it. Like, I'm so stressed out right now. And at that point, we had been there for about four hours. And I was so hungry. I get hangry when I'm hungry. Like, especially since I had Briella because I breastfeed her. It gets me more hungry. And so I was really mad. And Logan was being a troublemaker and not listening. So at that point, I like shoved him on the bed with us. And I was like, you need to sit down. I started raising my voice. It was so embarrassing. Finally, when we left, it was nighttime already. We stopped and got some food. And so I was better. And then Logan was being a crazy boy for the rest of the day because he hadn't had a nap. So I just did not pick up the camera because I don't like to film when I'm overwhelmed because I don't want you guys to like feel that negativity and I just don't want to I don't want YouTube to be something that I don't want to do so I just keep the happy moments and I record when I'm a little bit stressed out and I'll share those moments for you guys but when I'm overwhelmed to the point where I can't even talk to my husband then I'm just not gonna talk at all but now we're all better it is Wednesday and I am going to put this video out late for you guys because that was the video that was supposed to be for Wednesday and I just don't have a video at this point so I just filmed my six week postpartum update and six week postpartum appointment and just showed you guys that footage and I just wanted to talk to you guys about how everything went so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video and I hope to see you all in my next video I post Monday Wednesday and Friday and I try to post before 2 p.m. keyword try <laughs> today is one of those days where it's not gonna be up by 2 it'll probably be up by 4 o'clock so like I said I hope to see you all in my next video thank you guys so much for watching Bye, guys.